Hi guys, welcome to this full review of this Easy Game handheld games console for kids. It has 500 retro video games built in already. It has a 4 inch uh, display and it has a TV out and a two player option. And it's perfect for uh, ages between 4 and 12, but I think it could also fit for older people like even teenagers have some fun i mean we have been already using that uh, now since couple of days and the whole family had a lot of fun with it especially on the tv even my old son uh, who is 21 years old and now he's playing on his high-tech computer but he still had a lot of fun with this thing and he almost couldn't stop uh, using that but I'm going to show you everything uh, what we get how we can use that uh, so you know what you are buying I think it comes for a decent price especially when we consider uh, everything what we get and uh, we get also some instructions manual I hope you can see that if you're interested into some more details but I'm going to explain everything so you know uh, everything uh, anyway so here's the console has a really large screen with all the controls here by the way these controllers here are nicely built in and they are definitely quite some advantage to uh, some games especially for the pac-man i love this control here are they analog i don't think so or at least most of the old games of course as we know they do not support analog controllers so they are basically working as digital controllers sit in a similar way like these controls here but they have a much better touch and feel i can tell you they have even some uh, grip here i don't know if the camera is catching that uh, but I hope you can see that it has even some nice grip here. So it's definitely a big advantage. But we have a lot of controllers here anyway. I mean, we have these sides. We can even push it down in the middle. I don't know if there's some function here in the middle. And then we have this normal four uh, selector or switch buttons. We have the volume here. We have the start. We have option. We have the uh, main menu here. And here on the back we have the HD TV out, which as far as I know is not supported. I've tried this. This doesn't work. This is the micro USB charging port. And that's the AV output to the TV and that's definitely working. I've been using that. It's really super easy. You just plug it here and then automatically the screen here will turn off and you can connect it with the AV cable either directly to your TV or if you don't have this, I mean this is usually a thing which only all the TVs have. If you have just HDMI, there's for very little money, just a couple of dollars, you can buy an adapter from AV to HDMI. And also if you need a longer cable, this cable is not very long, so you can then you either use the HDMI to AV adapter with a long cable, or you can use a normal 3.5 millimeter cable with just a three pin, that's enough. You can see that works really good. We have been using that with this extension uh, on the TV and has been working really good. Here we get some hook for the hand strap, which is also included really nice, especially for smaller kids. So they don't drop it. And here we have the output for the headset. Headset is not included, but it's a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. You can see that here I have 3.5 millimeter jack and it works perfectly for any standard headset. By the way, as far as I know, this console is uh, available in two different options. One with battery included, like with uh, rechargeable battery included, like this one, and another one with disposable battery. So we have to charge the thing first. And of course, also the cable to charge is included. Uh, again, micro USB, that's the good thing. We have it almost everywhere. And also another good thing, even while using this charging cable and charging the console, we can already start and using this this is quite some advantage to turn it on we push this on the side we get the green light and it's charging really fast and you can see then we have all these games we have also sound and you can see there's a really good screen you can see it from all the sides 
even in this high illuminated room here and when it's darker then it's even better so uh, it's perfect from this angle here absolutely nothing to complain there's barely any mirroring here unless we have really crazy light so i would say this is really as good as it gets control all the buttons here are uh, exactly in in the right space and you can see we can easily select all the games by the way regarding the games there are no game in the games it's like a flat file structure we have really 500 uh, games here to select uh, if you want to go a little bit faster through the whole menu we can go to the right side and you can see then it increases faster so you get an impression what we get and there are no learning games no education games no quizzes no iq tests or so just real gaming and entertainment and regarding the audio the sound volume that's a really important thing and it looks like many people have been struggling with that if you just push here in the menu up and down at least in my case it hasn't been doing anything there is no difference here you can press as many times as you want or as long as you want it won't do anything how to change that we really have to go into the games and at least for me i've only been able to change the volume in the game so let's start this thing and how we start this is to use this start button here and usually we see then a menu and in the menu we can switch between one player and two players with this button here on the left side and when we are ready we can start it with this button here by the way for two players there's an option to get for a very low price an additional controller which you plug in probably here in the back and then you can have fun for two people here of course i'm just trying with the one person there's a little bit of audio uh, here so we can see how to change the uh, audio so you can see while we are in the menu to select the amount of players that's probably the only place the only space that we can increase or decrease the volume at least uh, it has been working for me like that you can hear that now i can make it really loud i have to uh, press the play here again to go into this menu now i'm inside can I even increase it more? But you can hear definitely it's much louder than before. So I go back and quit again. So let's start this thing again. So we are in the main menu again. And you can hear, we can make it really loud. You don't have to be worried that you don't, can't make it uh, loud enough. And you can also decrease the audio. But again, probably only when we are in this menu here. And that's probably the same thing for all the games. So you have to be aware of that. But the buttons are definitely not broken like uh, some people were suggesting. Just try a little bit around and it will work. You can see a lot of these games are very simple, but there are some which are a little bit more sophisticated. What's really interesting here, and that's also a lot of fun and helps a lot, that we can save up to three games and load then three games. So we can either go back to the game or we can save one. You can see we have different options. We have three places here where you can save them. I have already used two of them. You can see the screenshot. That's also really helpful that it also stores a screenshot right away from the game where you left the game. So you get an idea of where you were. You can see the spaceship here is on this position. And when we go to the second save here, it's on this position. And then we, when we go into the load, you can see also the screenshots. So you can easily figure out which game you want to load. And the third one is still available and not occupied. And when we want to quit, we can just press here and then go back to the main menu and select another game. And most of the games, they are working in a very similar way. Most of the games are from the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. Most of the games are two-dimensional but some of them are also three-dimensional something which i really liked is also like texas hold and poker and other card games and they are working really good yeah here there seem to be even a puzzle i haven't tried that there are also a, a lot of famous very 
uh, well-known games available like Donkey Kong, Mario Bros and so on. Yeah, let's go into the Mario to show you that really quickly. One player game A, let's start the thing and you can see that's definitely the original, at least as far as I can see, the original Mario Bros game. Yeah. Also a lot of different kind of like Pac-Man and even this kind of ball games. I don't even know how this is called in English, but you can see it's definitely fast reacting, uh, uh, no lags and so on. I think it has a really good uh, screen refreshing rate. You can see everything nice and clear and the keys are responsive. Then also something which probably most people know, the Pac-Man course let's go with the one player here you can see it's the original thing at least i haven't found any difference and now it's really good here with the controller you can see on the side it helps a lot this is much easier to play here with this controller here on top instead of this cross here and even the original space invader is not missing here as far as I can see, that's the really the original which I've been playing around 40 years ago. Yeah, that's amazing that they have this thing here. And we have even a full chess, you can see that here. Here we have even some decent soccer. Okay, nice goal. Yeah, really everything what you need, everything what you want, everything what you remember from the old days. Yeah, it's also something which I remember. Yeah, there's almost nothing missing. All the games which we had 30, 40 years ago, everything is here. And you can see it has been charging up in the meantime. And I've been still able to play a really nice thing here. Definitely a good investment. And especially for smaller children, you don't have to be worried that they break your $1,000 phone or they go to the internet and then they are exposed to scary things or they do uh, crazy stuff and order uh, new stuff on Amazon or so, which you don't want. They are safe and protected in their own world. And again, for a small price, you can add uh, an additional controller so you can have even fun for two persons. So can highly recommend this thing and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.